PC Phone 5 uh, project assignment is on impacts of climate change on the intensity of cyclones in Fiji. So uh, through our model de demonstration, we're going to first of all start off with how cyclones initially form. So there are three stages of uh, needed for the formation of cyclone, the origin or the source of cyclone. Second, the material stage. Then we have the dissipation stage when the cyclone dies out. So we live in the tropical region, right, uh, near the equator, and the location of uh, our area provides us with the vertical and direct sun rays from the sun. So when we get vertical and direct sun rays from the sun, it basically warms up the ocean. So in an extended period of time, the uh, warm, uh, warm ocean waters start accumulating. And then the second condition is the low altitude wind, which, uh, which blows from different directions. And that usually, uh, usually helps the warm air to rise. So it helps warm air to rise. Warm air rises, rises into the atmosphere. Uh, as soon as it rises, it starts cooling because uh, increasing altitude, the temperature starts decreasing. And when the temperature starts decreasing, the cool air starts descending down. Also, in terms of uh, air, uh, the cool air, the cool condensation process starts, uh, it releases like heat energy from the water vapor, from the surface of the ocean. And in doing so, it uh, starts the formation of cyclones. 10 kilometers, uh, 10 kilometers above the troposphere, so clouds starts forming, and then wind starts moving in. So also we have the Coriolis effect coming in here. Uh, so the Coriolis effect is the rotation of uh, rotation of the Earth on its. So um, in order for it happen to form, all those conditions are met, and then uh, circulation wind circulation starts. Sent out, uh, sent out the cyclone, so the eye of the storm starts developing. Um, at the center of the cyclone, which is the eye, it usually has the highest or the strongest wind force. And from there, we also have cloud formation, and cloud formation causes uh, the rain bands to move to outer regions as well. And cyclones, when they start strengthening, uh, uh, They'll, start, they'll also be moving uh, towards a certain, a certain pathway. As soon as they reach the land, the high pressure area where there's cool, uh, cool areas, uh, they make landfall or most probably rich area which is called landfall area whereby moisture is cut off so they dissipate. dissipate. So basically what happens, they'll dissipate in this particular area. Sometimes if the center of the cyclone uh, makes landfall or passes this particular area, it can have devastating impacts on the communities. And in terms of copy, uh, talking about the impacts it has on the communities, uh, we can categorize it in the physical, social and economical wise. How? The more, in, uh, the more uh, severity of the cyclone, the more damage. And that's where we have to come in and to come up to um, a student science. What can we do to prevent it? How can we do a risk analysis of getting some threat or having a increased death in the population? And how to improve in these uh, impacts of our physical and social economic and so the COVID-19 has like reduced the impact of uh, the emission. However, uh, we cannot like uh, simply stop the emission or reduce, the, I mean uh, stop the emission but we can reduce because there will be some emissions, emissions of CO2 will still be present in the uh, atmosphere. People will still, uh, uh, large industries will still use them in, the, I mean they will uh, uh, use the fossil fuels for the factories. So we cannot uh, stop the emission straight away. It will take time. What about on uh, emissions? It's just um, factories of that uh, pollution coming out. But, uh, one example is from your health, is the incineration, the incineration, 
cyclones usually have a category of uh, category scale of 2 and 3 but when we come to the to the decade of the 20s and uh, to the recent uh, 20th century we've noticed that the intensity of the tropical cyclone have increased from category 2 and 3 it has moved up to category 5 uh, category 4 and um, the most severe tropical cyclone that had hit Fiji has gone has uh, had a a wind speed as high as 165 knots which categorizes it as a category 5 tropical cyclone and um, from this we have seen that uh, the impact, the physical impact, the physical impact of uh, tropical cyclones have also have also intensified in terms of the 